Welcome to another episode of The Trenches. Today we have a very special guest, Chuba. What up, big dog? Uh, introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? Uh, my name is Chuba. Uh, from Long Beach, California. Um, right now I'm 6'2", 350 pounds. And I go to UC Davis and Hello. I play D-line. <laughs> so, D-line now. I remember every time I would see you at Poly, you was always playing O-line. What? Why did the coaches make that switch for you? To be honest, I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> it was more of the, um, the coach that offered me, I guess. Because um, uh, he came to one of our practices. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that that one practice out of the whole year, I practiced D-line. Mm -hmm. I never really practiced uh, D-line throughout <laughs> the whole year. And he saw me, and I guess he liked what I saw, mm -hmm. uh, well, what he saw. So what do you like more about D-line and O-line, or do you like the position more? Well, for me, I, I say the same thing to everybody when they ask me that question. For me, O-line is easier for me because I've perfected my craft in it for as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. But D-line is, is more fun. Mm -hmm. It's just, you got more grit to it and just, you can go out and you can do the things you can't do on O-line. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you choose UC Davis? Because I know you had some offers from like higher division schools. Um, UC Davis, it was more like a... I was being realistic with myself as far as, like, making it to that. Because, you know, as a kid, you grow up, it's like, oh, I'm going to the NFL. I'm mm -hmm. going to the NFL. But then once you start getting a little older, you start being more realistic with yourself. <laughs> like, you start thinking about, like, you know, what are you doing, like, after, like, uh, if okay. I do make it there. So it's like, I'd rather graduate with a UC Davis degree uh, okay. and not make it to the NFL. Okay. Rather than graduate with, like, some other degree. Because UC Davis more like, one of the top public schools in the nation. Mm. So. so are you saying that you didn't really have a vision? You don't think you can make it to the NFL? Or do you, are you just saying, like, just in case, I still can fall back on my degree? Yeah, it's okay. like a backup. Okay. And explain a little bit about that award that you got for this year. So I just got a co-fresh brother of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember I was talking to my head coach. She said, uh, when all the coaches in the Big Sky were meeting, mm -hmm. they were trying to figure out who, who they wanted to give to this, uh, this uh, award to. It mm -hmm. was me and the, the running back from Weber State. Mm -hmm. We we both got the co freshmen, and I guess they all said like, like everybody knew that. Uh, my coach told me like, when he told all the coaches like, I I didn't have the stats, you know, I, I didn't have all the sacks, all the tackles, but everybody knew when I was there. It was, I he made was a disruptive. Difference. Yeah. So what do you think he was more disruptive um, in the pass or in the run? Definitely in the run. In the, run. Uh, the pass rush is just me being a little bit bigger. I wasn't, I'm not fast, as fast as everybody else. That's mm -hmm. the main thing I'm, learning, uh, uh, I'm working on this offseason. My quickness and mm -hmm. my speed. I'm trying to lose, lose a couple of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them. Yeah. How much they want you to weigh? The coaches, they want, they want me to be like, 340, 330, but I'm trying to get down even more. Because they say they can't, they, like, the way I'm playing right now, it's, it's they like enough. it, so okay. they don't want me to lose too much weight. Yeah. So, yeah. Dang, 330. All right, how much did you weigh in high school? So, going into high school, I hit three bills freshman year. Mm. I, was, I, was, I was a little bowling ball. I was like 5'7". Five, 5'7"? Seven. Five, seven? Chuba, you was looking bad. <laughs> Five seven. Wait, I was a little bowling ball. And then um I think it was my junior year, it started growing out of nowhere. Yeah, so from five seven to now, it came all in your junior year, you feel like. Yeah. For the most part. Like from middle school to like ninth grade, I, mm. I just started gaining weight a lot. Cause like, um that's when I uh uh I left the uh SYFL. <laughs> they had a I know the uh what was it? One of the American. leagues I played for, they had a weight limit. The weight limit, yep. As soon as I left that, <laughs> it was bad days. For I went you, ham. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my prime. That's when I can eat the most. I remember when, cause SY like in the middle of the SYFL, it was like right when I left SYFL. That's when, cause I remember Cordell used to have an X on his helmet, cause sometimes he'd be overweight. But then they was like, you can play on the line, cause they was the first league. I think they was the first league to make it like unlimited weight. Cause I I used to have my first year, I lost like thirty pounds. I had to eat barbecue chicken salads. They used to have the George Foreman grilled chicken. I was so tired. Jack in the box salads. 
I had to lose too much weight. Now y'all ain't got to lose nothing. Yeah, when I was in, uh, I think it was the PCC. I think I think mm. that's the name of the league, the PCC. Mm. Uh, I played for the Browns, mm. and I always had to play like a level or two up. Yep, I was in sixth grade. I played with the eighth graders. Yep, <laughs> and man, you said you eat like barbecue chicken salads. Like grilled chicken, or if you add some sauce to it, you got to put the barbecue chicken salad. I in. literally ate like straight grass. <laughs> Bro, my mom, my mom and dad took it so serious. That stuff was so nasty. I used to cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Why do you take football so serious? Like, what does football mean to you? Well, for me, I started playing football when I was four. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it went from like a, like a, like, I just played the game so long that to where it just became a lifestyle for me, really. Mm -hmm. Like, from the age of like four to like, when I got to like middle school, I, I played it for fun for so, like it was more of like a fun type of thing. Mm -hmm. But then I got better at it and I took it more serious to where, and I was like, oh, yeah, this, this is what I want to do in life, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like this, I'm going to take this, like, all the way as far as I can. Yep. And then when I got to high school, like, you start realizing, like, what you can do with it. Like, the, all the things you're going to accomplish. Like, you know, I can take my family out, out mm -hmm. the hood and just take care of them. That's, that's my ultimate goal, really. Take just care taking of care of my parents mm -hmm. and my siblings. No, that's super. I can tell you super. Why are all the poly so family-oriented? Like, why is they always having some... Like, is that just start as when you little, everybody just growing up, everybody always having something at their house? All my poly homies, it's like every Saturday, somebody doing something. Like, y'all ever just be chilling? <laughs> it's, just, it's just the way we are. We're just, we're, we're hella close. Mm. Like, our families, like, growing up, every house that I've lived in, we've had at least, I'd say like 15 people in it. You did not grow up living with 15 people. I swear. Fifteen people. How many bedrooms was in there? We made it work. It was only like you. The uh, we'll have like three, three bedrooms, four mm. bedrooms. That the adults who sleep in there and the kids sleep in the living room, mm. or they'll have like a, a room for the girls. So the girls they always got their own room, really. Yeah. And then the boys. It's really mm. the boys that slept <laughs> everywhere. Just a couple nights that slept outside. Mm. It was too hot in the house. So you think that's why when you got to high school and started seeing what football can do, you wanted to try to make something really do something with it yeah mm. this is because you know just growing up you seeing your mom and dad struggle like it's just it's like i, I want to be able to give back to them at mm. least a little bit a little bit huh i always tell my mom just, just hold on a little bit longer and I'll, be, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be straight for real nah that's super dope so you know how some people it's like a if i don't go division one I, I ain't playing football type thing did you have that mentality or because of your situation, you like, bro, if I play, like, if somebody paying for all of it, I'm going to go. Yeah, I just, I, I literally, uh, I used to tell some of the coaches that offered me, they tried to do, like, partial. I was like, coach, uh, thank you for your, uh, like, thank you for the, for the, like, your interest in me, yeah. but, like, if you can't pay for it all, then I can't accept it. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad not paying the dime. They can't afford it. Yeah. But it was the same for me. That's why it was like. When I got to college, I always had so much, I always put so much pressure on myself, like, bro, I cannot mess this up. Like, because yeah. if, if it wasn't for this, I definitely wasn't finna be here. So it was like, man, I gotta make sure, I, like, I don't get kicked off the football team. If I get in a little trouble in class or something, all right. Yeah. It was like, you cannot, they, you know, they was paying my bill. So it was like, it made me grow up when I got there, because I'm like, bro, if I blow this, like, all my parents talk about was, you can go to school, you know, go to school, try to get an education, then this and that. And I'm like, bro, I'm finally here. And it was so many of the homies that was not there. So it was like, bro, I cannot blow this. Yeah. Man. What was your um, biggest transition going from high school to college, you feel like? Well, you know, just COVID. But uh, mm -hmm. I'd say just the, uh, the mentality that people have as mm -hmm. far as going on the field. Like the classroom and stuff, it was pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit. They just put a little bit more, like a little bit more reading, a little bit. You got to write a little longer. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to solve the the uh, problems you solve in your math class a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But for me, the biggest thing is uh, was football. Uh, just my work ethic, really. Mm -hmm. Like I had to. Like I thought my work ethic was good. Then I got to college and see, <laughs> oh, it's nowhere near where I got to be. Yeah. So, 
practice. Uh, my first couple, like my first summer there, I struggled a lot, like as far as like workout stuff. Just you couldn't last through it the whole time, or no? See me, I, my, I, I never quit really. Mm -hmm. Like my body, it, like in my mind, I'll be telling myself like, oh, fuck this, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> but my body just keep going. Yeah. Like there's something about my body. It's not even me. It's, literally, my body has a mind of its own. It, just, <laughs> it keeps going. Oh, me a robot. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So, like, what in the workouts though? Like, was it? You was just ready to just give it was you felt like it was just too much for you, but your body didn't allow you to stop? Yeah. It just, just like I want like I wanted to be like like I said, I gotta get faster and mm -hmm. stronger. It's just seeing how fast the uh, like the other D linemen were. The, the, the D linemen were, seeing how strong they were. And just me, I'm just sitting there like, damn, I got a long way to go. <laughs> just uh, like I work I work hard. Like I mm -hmm. still gotta work even harder. Mm -hmm. Uh so yeah. So is that one thing you feel like that's like the biggest thing you would tell somebody like in high school is like work harder than what you even think you're working because when you get to the next level it's gonna come for you. Yeah, like even if it's like yeah, just work your hardest really. Is just because when you get to college they're gonna help you out. You feel me? Like they're not help you out a lot, but like they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna guide you kind of, uh -huh. you, and you're gonna have a lot of people that set uh, set examples for you. Like for me, I'm fortunate enough. Like a lot of my uh like a lot of my older teammates like. When they see like see some of us younger guys struggling or something, like mm -hmm. they pick us up. Okay, then, that's cool. Yeah. And then, so what's one thing that you would change, like when you was in high school, that you feel like you could have really benefited from, but you kind of was like, you was bullshitting. My work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I I worked hard, but like I was I was lazy. You was lazy. I was, but so you didn't think you was lazy, but everybody else around you was probably dumb lazy, huh? Yeah. So that's what it was, just hanging around kind of, not the wrong people, but they, they not having that, are right, we trying to do bigger things mentality. Yeah. Okay. Everybody want to go to the funk house. Like, what did it mean for you, like, when you was about to go to high school and you was like, all right, I'm about to go to poly? So for me, it's just all my, like, not all my cousins, but, like, a majority of the, uh, the people that I grew up with, yeah. uh, a lot of my older cousins that I looked up to, they went to poly. It's mm -hmm. just... Just, just big from Long Beach. You, you gotta know? go to Poly. You, you gotta go to Poly. Like, a lot of kids, like especially like when I like started going uh around my eighth grade, ninth mm -hmm. grade year, that's when Poly kind of died down a little bit. Everybody and started trying to go to private school. Everybody trying to go to private school. I didn't, I didn't care. I just, mm -hmm. I, I told myself I'm going to Poly all these years. I'm mm -hmm. going to Poly. Mm -hmm. And there's all these people just going to. I, I told myself. Like, if I'm gonna make it out, I'm gonna make it out through poly. Through poly. You see everybody that's done it before, so why can't I do it? So what do you think? How do you think poly got you prepared for? You know, like, how do you think it prepares you for what you're doing today? So, well, one thing, like, uh, all my teachers that I had over there, they really prepared me for like. That's, that's I feel like that's why class is somewhat so easy for me. Because you feel like you was in a good yeah, program in poly. Good program in poly. Especially with my uh, major, my business major. Mm. I was in a business program at Packard. Uh, That's crazy that we sit here talking about poly and we over here talking about academics. I just knew you was going to say something football first. Because, you know, when people think poly, like you think of home of scholars and champions, but yeah. you remember the, you know, the fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That class, you feel like class got you, you know, ready for right now. That's yeah. dope. Because, like, you have those teachers that are, like, kind of mediocre. Mm. But then there's those teachers that are really, like, that they really care care about you, like mm -hmm. they see what you can do, they see where you're gonna go, they really get you prepared. Mm. Yeah. No, that's super dope. Um, and shout out to Coach Marcus. Coach yeah. Marcus, super cool, funny. <laughs> Keep you having me dying. I'm glad he even lets you come um, to Vegas with us on the getaway, because you know sometimes high school coaches be like tripping on people who train their kids, or you know somebody that's not mm -hmm. inside the program. So good looking out, Marcus, for letting you come. Yep. How did you? How did you like the getaway? Do you feel like the getaway did anything for you? Or like, was it fun? Like, you know, just let me know how, it, just so I can make it better next time. Cause I'm trying to do another one at the end of July with all class of 22. So for me, I liked it a lot. Mm. I don't know about the other guys, but I really liked it. <laughs> like, it, it, like it was like a business trip, but at the same time it was like, kind of like a mini vacation. Mm -hmm. Just to get away, just, just being over there. And especially like seeing all the things you showed us. Mm -hmm. uh, the, like where we saw the uh, properties. That's, I used to be thinking about that all the time. 
this, it, it was so confusing at first. <laughs> Just walking around, he's like, "Oh yeah, we own this building. Oh, that one over there, that one over there." <laughs> it's crazy. And then now you were probably like, "Oh, he really had a big bag." Yeah, that's right. what I was trying to get y'all to see. But that, like, that's why I want to do it with the seniors. And that was my first one, so like, I had learned a lot about it. Like, I'm, I'm gonna do it a little bit different now. I was mad I, did, I couldn't do it last year because of COVID. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it again. We might go to the bay this time. Uh, I don't know, I'm still kind of deciding. I got to choose like, right now, but like, I don't know if I want to stay in LA, go to the Bay, go to Vegas, go to San Diego. And just, you know, I will pull up to a different school, um, but the dead period been making it all weird. Yeah. And then just like, yeah, I, I ain't been deciding on it yet. Cause, but that's why I really wanted to show y'all how it was. Like people really can make their own, their own way. Like, yeah. He do his own thing. He was feeding us talking to us, being cool. And you see, like, you don't have to be, I feel like usually when, when I was your age, I felt like rich people or people were like bosses, like they didn't want to talk to us, but like, he was so cool. And yeah, shout out was. to Adam, KLA Capital out yep. of Vegas. Like, he was cool, he showed love. Like, he felt like, I felt like I knew him forever. And I, and that was like my second time meeting him. Yeah, he was, he was hella so, cool. He like took care of us. Like, just so y'all can see like them good influences. Like, bro, you can do something that you, whatever you want to do. And if somebody is looking to get to go to real estate, just for y'all to be able to have that type of resource in case you know you might want to call them, ask them questions. Like, you know, like, how did you get started again? Or if I'm thinking about doing this in California. So like that's why I be doing the um doing the getaway, just so I can try to show y'all the different stuff. Cause it's like I had never seen somebody with that many type buildings. Have yeah. you? Yeah, no. So it's like if you don't see it, you'd be like, Man, I can't do that. But then it's like when you see it and you're like, Man, he's he's just like me, like all right, how did you do that again? You might start listening more when yeah. you feel like, all right, this is something I could do. That's what I be trying to show y'all because as I got older, I always felt like, when I was growing up, I always felt like it was so much stuff I couldn't do. Just You know, I don't see nobody doing it. So it was like, all right, like right, I'm going to make sure my dudes know that it's plenty of other ways to make a lot of money because I feel like that's why a lot of people, when they get out of college, like all the homies back at home, they do the same thing yeah. because be, they feel like that's the only time they see money. And it's like, bro, there's a million people making money in a million ways. Just find something you like. You ain't got to always, you don't have to go to college or you don't have to use your degree. You can use your degree, but you also, you know, if you, with a little bit of time and some effort, you can do something. Like, so now I'm, I'm glad you liked it. And Dejan is senior now. Yeah, I see it. Classes, I see he blew up. Yeah, like is he a four star? I don't know what he is. I don't be paying attention to the stars and I know. stuff. So what you got to say about stars? Because, you know, that's it's like when you're in high school, you ain't nothing if you don't have no stars. Like, now that you're in college, like, what would you say to people that's tripping over stars? If you watch this right now, ain't nobody give a damn about two stars. <laughs> I just see so many five stars, four stars, and then you see people that with no stars way better than them. Yeah. Honestly, it's just... I, do your thing and yeah, you're you gonna be do your good. Thing. Mm. A lot of people say, "Oh, go to camps, do this, do that, just do your thing." Mm. And me, I only went to like one camp, and that was the opening. Mm. But you know, that was a good camp. But like yeah. camp, if you you also went to poly, so coaches don't come. And yeah. sometimes kid like they don't get to get seen, and sometimes you got to get in front of these coaches because they seeing a million kids. So yeah, your film might look good, but. Say you 350 and you don't look that fast on your film. Yeah. But if you fast and you go to a camp and he see, he like, all right, I want to offer him. But on the film, he probably couldn't see how explosive you are. So it just kind of depends. Camps and stuff is cool, but the stars, like, bro, play football. Play football, go to college, have fun, try to get to the league. If you don't, do something. <laughs> you know, be successful with it. And if you do got stars, be humble. <laughs> Please be humble. <laughs> and... If you wasn't playing football, what you feel like you would be doing? I honestly couldn't tell you. You don't know? It's, you never had anything else that you was like, that you, you know, kind of like a hobby that you always find yourself doing? Playing video games. Nah. Uh, <laughs> not really. I, I play video games, but I, I like nah, that. Not for real. Everybody I only play like when the homies hop on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, honestly, I feel like if I was playing football, I'd probably be doing something with music. Music? Yeah, I just I just love music. <laughs> so you gonna be rapping, singing, making beats, or what? <laughs> Probably like making beats For or real? something like that, or just playing instruments. Uh, 
You play any uh, the ukulele? Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play. I don't play good. I know. I don't know. Like I only know like one song. Uh, <laughs> where does love for music come? Or you just always used to be making beats or something? Yeah. Well, just growing up like small culture. Mm. It's like we sing all the time, <laughs> like literally all the time. Like in church, we we grew up in. Uh, everybody was part of the uh, like the choir. Mm. Everybody sang. That's just how it's it just in our blood, really. Mm-hmm. And do you know how to sing? Or is no. You <laughs> was singing, a 350-pound singer. Go ahead. I've been asking this question lately. Cause, so, like, when I was growing up, I wanted to know how to, like, how do you become, like, a coach at, like, at a big program? Like, I always kind of saw myself coaching, but I saw myself college coaching, not training how I do now and, uh-huh. you know, doing the different things I want to do. But it was like, man, like, who can I talk to to really – Show me that. Is there anything that you've always kind of like had your eyes on or always find yourself thinking about that you like, man, if I knew somebody who did this, like I would want to know like how they did that. I've I've always wanted to be a coach. For real? Yeah. Like what, coach O-line or D-line? Probably O-line, but as of right now, probably D-line. Youth, high school, college, NFL. I've always, see, uh, when I was in high school in Poly, my plan I uh, I originally wanted to be a math teacher, mm-hmm. and I. Uh, <laughs> what a math teacher! You like math that much? Yeah. My boy using that UC Davis degree. See, my plan was like to uh, after I graduate uh, from UC Davis, if I don't make it to the to the uh, NFL, I was gonna come back to Poly, be a math teacher, be mm. a coach. Oh, that's been dope. You would have had all the polys up there. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the poly somewhere, so I know. Mike just got offered to uh, to UC Davis. Yep. And I know you probably gonna make him go there, right? Say what? I said I know you probably gonna make him go there. And oh no, he committed. Oh, he going for sure. Yeah, he saw, uh, yesterday was Saturday. Mm, is he going for or two days? Is ago. he going for O line? Yeah. So y'all gonna be going against each other. Yep. Is he gonna play guard? Uh, probably. Mm, so shout out to Big Mike. We got a bunch of shouting out a bunch of people today. We shout out. Uh, Coach Marcus, yeah. shout out to Marcus, shout out to Adam, yeah. and then shout out to Mike for signing um, to UC Davis. Sure. <laughs> so, thank you, Chuba. I appreciate you. On you, you had a couple of hours for me. Thank you. Have a safe travel back to what city is that in? Davis. Davis. Just oh, say, I'm blowing it. Uh, going to California. <laughs> safe travels all the way back up north. How long is it from here? Uh, it's only an hour and a half flight. Hour fifteen minutes. Oh, I'm like hour and a half. But you talking about flights? Okay. So safe travels. Um, good luck this season. Ball right. out. We're going to learn how to use them hands faster so you can beat the center. But good job, bro. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Keep balling. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, sir.